everyone and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video I'm going to be taking you with me on my trip to Dubai. We're going to be seeing a few tourist places, malls and a lot of food in this video. First place that I'm starting with in this video is one of the newest malls right here. It is called the Dubai Hills Mall and it opened as recently as 2021 and uh, I can't wait to show you around more of this place. This mall is like a refreshing change compared to the other malls that you're going to be seeing in this video. Firstly, it is brand new, like it literally started in 2021 and the shops are new, a lot of the shops are still coming up. The mall is really wide and spread out, it's almost like a square or a rectangle shaped mall. Not very high on stories but pretty wide in that sense. You can easily come here and cover the entire mall in a day. There's food courts, there's department stores, individual shops, there's high end stores, there's a lot that you can do here. The one thing that is different about this mall is that when you go up, especially on the first level, you can see the sky from these glass windows of sorts and it's almost like a dome shape and the light coming in, the sky in the evening and your festive decor is looking so good. So right now I'll stop by at Tim Hortons and I can't believe it that I've never really tried Tim Hortons so far in my entire life. So here I am sitting at Timmy's with this cute little Christmassy cup. I'm no coffee connoisseur, but um, I think it's good coffee. It's a bit too frothy for my liking, but it's okay. From the newest to the oldest mall in Dubai, that's where we're going next. It's in the Dera area of Dubai and here is the famous Dubai clock tower. It's definitely something that you'll pass when heading to or out of this mall. Here we are at Al Ghurair Center, the first ever mall in Dubai. It opened in the early 80s and is connected by bus and metro. And here you can find supermarkets, there's a carrefour and of course other high street stores. The mall is supposedly renovated now and is so much smaller than the other ginormous malls in Dubai. But still, it's a hit with the locals for their favourite stores and restaurants. I'm now stopping by for lunch at a place that has been on my wish list for a very long time, Din Tai Fung. It originated in Taiwan by a Chinese family and is now so famous in many different countries. The ordering style is pretty unique. You have to tick whatever is your order and specifications and then relish every bit of it. Ordered quite a few dishes, noodles, stir fried with veggies, tastes so good with that chilli oil. These are egg noodles, so if you don't eat egg, then stick to the fried rice. This is a thicker, stickier rice, but felt great with the steamed spinach on the side. And of course, dumplings. If you are vegetarian, then let them know your preference so that the staff can definitely help you decide. And don't forget to order their fresh iced teas. This one is peach and highly recommended. Heading out of the mall and passing Aru's Damascus, which is where I'm taking you next. This is how lit Aru's Damascus is on just a regular evening. This is an Arabic restaurant serving Syrian cuisine. So I am definitely looking forward to a slightly different flavor and taste as compared to the Lebanese style Arabic food. This is a vegetable plate like salad. Then here we have hummus, garlic cream with the spicy sauce, baba ganoush, fool and of course falafel and also these spicy potatoes. We have mohamara and of course zatar. I definitely felt like this style of food is a bit more subtle in terms of flavour whereas the Lebanese style food is a bit more popping with certain ingredients like garlic and pomegranate seeds etc. But Aruz is a must visit for the experience. The staff are so jovial and serve you so well and it's a great way to experience authentic Arabian dining. Also don't forget to end with Suleimani Chai. Starting today's day by coming to Festival City Mall, but first lunch. Now I'm going to the Cheesecake Factory and somehow through all of my US trips, this is a place that I've ended up missing. What's interesting is that spring rolls in most American chains are known as egg rolls and these are filled with avocado, so creamy inside and the outer covering is crispy. The sauce that has come with it 
It's a little bit on the sweeter side. They've also given a few of these crispies on the side. They're feeling like rice crispies. I'm now trying the spaghetti. It's just a basic spaghetti with tomato and basil sauce. I think it could do with a little bit of uh, parmesan. It's looking super greasy, like the right amount of greasy, but it's somehow leaving a slightly dry aftertaste. What I love about the spaghetti is the sauce. It's just the perfect tomato and basil sauce. Not over seasoned, not over herbed. What I'm actually enjoying is their portion of uh, brown bread. Really nice fresh bread. It's like the healthier kind. It's even topped with a few seeds and stuff. It's not the softest bread. It's a bit hard and chewy, but going really well with the spaghetti. I think for me this meal has been a bit more enjoyable because of where I'm sitting and eating. So there's like a waterfront view in front of me and uh, it is so cool. It's not a hot day in Dubai, it's a good day to be out in the sun and this is a lunch that I'm much enjoying. Now for the real reason why I've come to the Cheesecake Factory. Look at that glorious strawberry cheesecake. Doesn't it look amazing? Looking at the different cheesecake flavors, I was so confused but I don't know, something in me told me to go in for a strawberry cheesecake today and um, in this way I think I get to try a little bit of berries along with just the original flavor as well. I'm not like crazy about cheesecake in life but I've uh, got to try it at the Cheesecake Factory at least once. The perfect crust, the perfect saltiness. The base is made of uh, crushed cookies or graham crackers. It has a more biscuit kind of texture, like a crushed biscuit kind of texture. The main part is made from a mixture of cheese and eggs and cream. And this is not like that Japanese fluffy cheesecake. It's a bit more dense. It is so heavy and so stuffed. And now to walk around and burn all of that food. So I'm heading to my favorite place, Carrefour, a supermarket chain which I love exploring in Dubai. Chocolates, snacks, apparel, personal care, it's all here. After that, I visited a store called Lovisa, which is amazing for artificial jewelry. And then Watson's, where I shopped a bit of skincare. Festival City Mall is quite big and spread out. All kinds of brands are here and also a lot of activities. There's also a big food court area here. And a place that I recommend for a refreshing break is Jungle Juice. All through this Dubai trip, I tried a lot of their drinks. Here I'm having sugarcane and it's the best way to end this indulgent day. Driving back from Festival City and enjoying the beautiful Dubai sky, this sunset is probably one of the prettiest ones I witnessed in Dubai. The golden light, the clouds, everything looking so gorgeous. I'm heading really close to the Burj today, which means I'm spending the day in Dubai Mall. The mall is huge, so I have a tip to navigate. Download their app. It has an inbuilt navigator that can help you find shops and reach from one point or one shop to the other. And it is the only way to get around this mall. It will simplify your life here. This is a mall with a lot of high-end and luxury stores. So if you are into that kind of shopping, definitely check out these outlets. The good thing is that in this mall, you can enjoy the aquarium. So this is the outside section, which is free, but you can go in the underwater tunnel for a price. There's also a skating rink here. And this is one of the most famous photo spots within the mall. And you can actually head to the waterfront area to enjoy an abra or a boat ride. While doing that, definitely admire the beauty of the Burj at night. And of course, the dancing fountains. This starts at 7 p.m. every evening and happens every hour. So make sure you catch it. It's one of the best free things to do in Dubai. One thing that I love about the Dubai mall is their food court. There's so many local and international food chains catering to a wide range of cuisines and options. This is Takado, a Mexican food chain. And here I'm getting a burrito bowl made. Rice, black beans, pickled veggies, spicy and regular salsa, cheese, sour cream and guacamole. And I have a deliciously fulfilling meal for myself. I just stopped at a place called Papa Roti. They have buns, they have kunafa and different beverages. You actually get a combo, the bun with a beverage. I took the classic one. You guys are not going to believe just how soft. This is the softest thing I've ever had. It is buttered from inside. So this is one with lotus biscoff. It's covered with like a thick layer of uh, lotus biscoff sauce. And the bun of course is super soft. Mm. Here again, I'm at Jungle Juice and this time I'm trying the one with lots of berries. I don't remember the name, but uh, this was good. Mm -hmm. 
another amazing mall in Dubai with lots to do is the Mall of the Emirates. Apart from loads of shopping, there's also Ski Dubai here. I, however, visited this really interesting cafe called Cafe Lito and it was so beautifully done. And the dessert spread here is just out of this world. So appetizing, so pretty. I had a hard time choosing but I finally chose the pistachio rose and raspberry cake and a mango shake and both were so good out of this world. Slightly on the pricier side but the stuff in the overall experience is definitely worth it. Starting another amazing day in Dubai, I'm heading to the marina to get on a speedboat but first let's just take a minute to see the symmetry in the buildings here. It always amazes me. This is Al Majara building and from here I'm moving to the exclusive yacht center to get my passes for the speedboat. I book these online on an app and I'll leave the details and prices and stuff in the description box. And now it's time to get on the speedboat. I have done a cruise in the Dubai Marina on my last trip and also took the tram that goes to the Palm Jumeirah. I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below. But this I feel is going to be a more fun experience. That's our tour guide explaining just how fast the speedboat can get. The first few minutes are a slow cruise as we cross the marina, the Dubai Eye, the beach but then it picked up speed and I'm now not even able to hold my phone still but this will hopefully give you an idea of the speed. The ride is the best way to see a lot of the fancy hotels that Dubai has and they actually give the people on the boat a few minutes to enjoy the sights, click pictures and stuff. So here is the Atlantis. This is a new hotel shaped like ship containers and here is Burj Al Arab. I took this ride around sunset and it was like I enjoyed the best of golden hour and the night lights. When the boat turns to go back, the cruise is slow and that is the best time to enjoy the night view of Dubai from the sea. Light reflects on the water, the buildings are lit up and good weather. This is easily one of my best evenings in Dubai. And here is the Marina Mall. I've come here for a quick bio break, but the mall seems lit. I feel like they've done it up as compared to the last time that I saw it. There are high street brands, food chains, and no one can miss the lights here. It's apparently like this all the time. That is the Dubai frame. I've never been inside, but always see it while driving around. Ticket details and stuff will be in the description box. Today, I'm heading to Dera to city center, one of the biggest malls in Dubai. And according to me, a great one if you want to shop more affordable brands. A lot of Dubai malls focus on high end, but here there's so much more from high street. Electronic stores, supermarkets, home goods, Daiso, one of my favorite shops, and a lot of brands that have amazing deals and sales running. I shopped quite a bit here. So have a fun food court area, very, very nicely done. And it's been way too many days since I've had chaat. So here is Bail Puri from Chaat Hut. There's another city center mall, Modif. Both the city centers are good for affordable shopping, I feel. This is another place where I shopped quite a bit. The Modif one as compared to the Dera feels newer and slightly more fancier. In Modif city center, I also visited an amazing French cafe. This is La Brioche, such a pretty and well done place. I'm trying a bunch of things here today. Firstly, just look at this pot of butter that comes with the bread basket. And these are assorted breads. There's whole grain, sardo, and quite a few others. Totally enjoying them with the butter and the olive paste. Then I'm moving on to sharing pumpkin risotto, soup and salad. And the reason for sharing is that I wanted space for dessert. Would you just look at the sheer variety? And some of them are honestly too pretty to eat. But here I got a chocolate opera pastry, like a classic French style. It has layers of ganache, coffee buttercream, almond sponge cake soaked in coffee and topped with a chocolate glaze. I am in full chill mode today, so after roaming around the mall for a bit, I'm stopping at this cafe, Kappa Gava. As tempted as I am to indulge in their desserts, I mean, would you look at the spread? I think I'm just gonna stick to tea. This is a very different type of tea. I think it's called Karak, and I found it really light and mild, but I love the quantity. And also the yellow cup that it came in. I seriously cannot get enough of Dubai at night. Just look how gorgeous it looks. I mean, I know they're just buildings, but still. And then there's this new mosque near the Business Bay area. 
and this in the night just looks so pristine. In this Dubai trip, I'm also visiting Abu Dhabi just for the day. And while driving there, we're passing this seaside which looks so good and also the Louvre. Apparently, the Mona Lisa painting is here for some time this year and then she's back in Paris. Here's a swanky new mall in Abu Dhabi. This is the Galeria Mall and it's probably the most well-made and fancy mall I've seen on this trip. Mostly high-end stores here along with a lot of food chains. This mall just feels very, very luxurious. And here I'm on my way to the airport, passing the Dubai frame again. Another structure that I pass by way too often is the Museum of the Future. Isn't it so unique? I mean, I looked at it so intently every time I passed it. And last but not the least, you should see this view from my takeoff from Dubai. This is the best view of Dubai that I've seen, literally stuck my head on the window non-stop for watching this. Thank God for the window seat. So yeah, this is it from my trip to Dubai. I hope you enjoyed this slightly different video. I had a good holiday and this way I also got to share it with you guys without making like a full-on video filming it. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Share it with your friends and family with whom you are planning a trip here and subscribe to my channel for more from my travel experiences and I will see you in my next video. Bye!